Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we are taking a look at a brand new 2024 Surveyor Legend 202 RBLE travel trailer. This is a small couples trailer. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and the outside of this RV, kind of show you what this thing is all about. So let's get started on the inside here. So let's step on up in here, walking up into your new Surveyor Legend. We're going to start up in the front section, which is your bedroom area. So some of the changes is going to be a little bit of wood color change, floor color change, hardware on your cabinetry and stuff as well. I'll put a list of stuff down below. But you have a 60 by 80 queen bed. The bed does raise up. There's some storage under there, motion light under there. And there's a couple drawers actually built into the uh, foot area of the bed base here. Back in behind your hanging closet area, you can see there's a couple shelves and stuff back there as well. A window in the front. Hanging closet on each side. You have some overhead cabinet space as well. Then you have full extending ball bearing drawer guided drawers. Electric outlet and USB charger ports on each side. Window on each side of the bed does also open. Little vent up here as well. Plenty of room to walk around your bed area. And you also have this little uh, bar stool area here. So you could sit up there and eat or use it as a little bit of a workstation if you wanted to. You have your TV mounted on a swing arm up there. Heat ducts coming out the side of the cabinetry down there. Your slide out area, this particular one was ordered with the trifold sofa. So this will flip out and make into a bed. And it also has a little table that attaches to that. So you could even sit over there, use it as a workstation or eat whatever you needed to do over there. Windows in the slide out area, the two on the sides of the sofa do open, but the big one in the back does not. We're just kind of looking up at our ceiling area here where there's a couple speakers in here. You have some recessed LED lighting, a little bit of uh, lighting above your slide as well. And then you have a AC right there, which is basically a dump AC. So it blows out all the air right in that one area. High-rise faucet, undermount sink, electric outlet and USB charger ports back there as well. Furion stereo system there next to your cabinetry. Currently using a Furion microwave, Furion hood range light and fan, and the Furion oven which does have the glass front, light built in. You have the light up knobs, three burner stove top with the flip down glass lid and a little cutting board backsplash back there as well. There is a central vac down there with a dustpan vac as well. Decent amount of storage under your sink area. There's a propane leak detector down there, electric outlet. You also have your digital thermostat for your AC and your uh, propane furnace. Back here by the entry area, there is a electric box with the breakers and fuses down below. You have your 10.7 cubic foot uh, Furion refrigerator. This is a 12 volt refrigerator. You got your freezer up top, refrigerator part on bottom, and it has kind of like a little push handle in there. Pretty good amount of space back here as well. Same down here. And then you have 
pull-out drawer below. Now right back here is going to be your bathroom area. So on the left side you have porcelain foot flush toilet. Some shelf space back here for towels and linens. Some little uh, towel hooks. Below the sink area here you have a little bit of storage space as well. 12 volt tank heater switches, water pump switch, water heater on gas switch. Uh, this is basically kind of like an on off because it actually has an on demand water heater now. That's the controls over here. And then you have a uh, battery meter, fresh water tank meter, electric outlet over there, a little bit of sink area, medicine cabinet, vent fan up above. And then over here we have a step in shower. ABS tub surround, skylight up above. They'll pull across vinyl door. But overall, a pretty nice smaller couple's trailer. Not real super heavy. Now let's step outside here. I want to show you around the outside real quick. So when you are walking onto the outside, oh, hold on one second before we get outside. Another heat duct there. And then there is a solar charge controller right here. Forgot to mention that there's a solar panel on the roof. Slide button, awning button, some light switches. And one other quick thing before we get outside. Tire pressure monitoring system. Really nice safety feature. Glad to see they include that on the Surveyor product. All right, now we're going to step outside. We have the heavy-duty steps that we're stepping out onto. These come down, touch the ground. They don't shake and wobble. The RV is bad when you're going in and out. You have power awning, LED light strip built in close to the body of the RV, adjustable arms for tilting, and a manual override in the front arm head in case of an electronic failure. Large folding entry handle here. You will also see an advertisement for the Asdale composite material. This fiberglass is attached to an Asdale material, uh, which is kind of a man-made composite instead of a wood Luon backer. So if your, say, door leaks or your window leaks or maybe that speaker up there were to spring a leak somehow, um, it is much less likely to have any type of delamination issue as there's no wood on that fiberglass to delaminate. Um, so you got basically fiberglass, you have the Asdale, foam block insulation, aluminum stud construction, and then you have your interior wallboard. Little step light by the step area, double axle, easy loop hubs, drum brakes. They are 12 volt brakes. Make sure you have a brake controller in your tow vehicle. Uh, they are currently riding on Goodyear Endurance tires. I'm not 100% sure if that's going to stay that way. Um, they have been talking about changing. Um, I guess, like everything else in the world, prices are going up. So we'll see what happens on that. There is propane furnace exhaust out right here. You have the electric outlet, cable outlet, and also a cold water spray port outlet there as well. You have your stove exhausting out behind the door, partially behind the door right here. The entry exit door is the black glass entry exit door that you're used to seeing on a lot of these campers nowadays. Uh, it doesn't look like it has a window in it, but it actually does. That window is also Lippert Thin Shade ready. There's an aftermarket shade you can buy for it. Two outdoor speakers, traditional porch light, outside mini fridge. There is a little dump sink thing that goes right here as well I did not get out. And a griddle that goes here as well that I also did not get out. Just down below, there is also the gas line hookup for that griddle. Pretty good size pass through storage area. There's that griddle in the box right there. You can see some of that aluminum tube framing. There's a motion light in here as well. Heavy duty scissors stabilizer jacks.
The front end is kind of sloped. It's a rolled fiberglass front with a lower diamond plate metal. This one was ordered, the customer is putting on a Blue Ox Sway Pro. So you're seeing the Blue Ox hitch in the storage compartment there. These extra little brackets here, it's a really nice safety hitch uh, that you might consider as well when talking with your salespeople. All different types of hitches out there, but Blue Ox has quickly become one of the most popular over the years. You have two and five sixteenths hitch ball, heavy duty safety chains, power tongue jack, manual override in that jack, LED light built in as well, seven way barbman wiring plug, room for one or two batteries to go back here, battery disconnect also there. And you also have that little yellow box on the front. That's a repeater for the tire pressure monitor to boost the signal into the truck basically so that when you have that little screen with you in a truck like you should, it will allow you to uh, be able to read it out. Another little storage door area over here. These storage doors, by the way, are held up by magnetic holders. You have your on-demand water heater right here, and then there's a removable panel right there that you can unscrew, which would allow you to access the back of that water heater for maintenance and winterization stuff. A little bit nicer slam lock baggage doors, again, held up by the magnetic holders. Some real important informational stickers here for you. For example, this is your production data sticker. This tells us our production date was 7-12 of 2023. You have 7,497 pound gross vehicle weight. That's the most you can load it up to, axle weight, hitch weight, everything combined. Has your VIN number and stuff on it as well. Uh, then we have a tire sticker, ST20575R15 D-range tires, 65 cold PSI. Length here is 25 feet 1 inches with a dry weight of 5,052 pounds. Next to the water heater over there is your gravity fill fresh water tank. And there is a fresh water tank drain located right down below. A little bit different graphics package as well for 2024. Now on the side of the slide here, it is also prepped for the Solaire slide toppers. Um, it's a nice aftermarket feature you can consider as well. It basically is a awning that rolls in and out with the slide out and covers the top of it. So it helps shade the room, repels a lot of water, leaves, twigs, debris, that type of stuff, just to kind of help out with keeping the roof clean up there. Back here, you have your city water inlet, your cable and satellite inlet, and you have black tank flush to clean out the toilet system. Just down below is your gray and black tank dump, along with your hot and cold low point water drains down there. Detachable power cord right here. That's probably stretched out, I'd say close to 30 feet roughly, 25, 30 feet at least. Looking at the back of the RV, you have traditional flat back fiberglass rear end, four inch square tube bumper. There is a little two inch hitch receiver just below that spare tire right there. Now that is basically kind of a luggage rack or bike rack. It's meant to hold around 300 pounds, I think is the limit for it. Uh, so be a little careful with how much weight you put on it. It's not a towing style hitch. It's not meant to tow a boat or you know any of that type of stuff behind here, but it will allow you to put like a bike rack or something on if you want to. And then obviously you can see the spare tire mountain cover right there. The unit is prepped for a rear observation camera by Furion. Uh, definitely a really nice safety feature to consider adding. It allows you to see what's going on behind you when you're driving down the road. Comes with a little monitor that you plug into an outlet in your truck and allows you to kind of see things. Definitely consider that good safety feature. And then that little black rectangle in the top right corner is prepping for the Lippert portable stow and go ladder that you can again buy aftermarket. And basically it's a telescoping ladder that you would telescope up, attach it there, be able to get up onto your roof and inspect and check things out. And that right there, 
um, would allow you to again take it off, throw it in a storage compartment and not have to worry about somebody getting up onto your roof when you're not around, falling off and getting hurt. All right, now let's step back inside here real quick. I wanna show you what this thing looks like closed up. So when you are ready to close it up, it is very, very important to make sure you remove this little table thing here. Now we're gonna set the camera down here real quick. And take this thing off. There's a little release handle down here. Gotta make sure you take that. That'll slide up off of there. I'm not gonna take it totally off. I just want to get it out of the way so we could run this slide out room in for you. Show you what this looks like here real quick. So when you are ready to close things up or open it up, you have to come right back in here inside your entry door to your slide button. Very, very important to make sure the slide out area is clean of any obstructions that might damage something. Make sure your main subfloor is clean. When it comes in, it kind of comes in up at an angle a little bit over top of your main subfloor. So if there's any rocks or twigs or you know grandkids toys or whatever that are in the way, it could run them over and damage things. So make sure your floor is clean before you bring in the slide. All right, so when it comes in, you can see it's not anything interfering with your bathroom area or your refrigerator area, anything like that. You could come back in here and kind of walk around to get to your bed area. So if you are stopping at a rest area, needing to come in, take a nap or something, you could do so without having to worry about opening up the slide. And then when you're ready to take it back out, you just hit the out button and it rolls right on back out. This is a 12 volt slide system. It's a worm gear system with a manual override. So in case of an electronic failure, you could manually crank it in as well. All right, folks, thanks a ton for taking the time to watch my RV videos. I really do appreciate it. Heard that ratchety noise? It means it's all the way out. Please be sure to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation, one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. Thanks again.